What's up, friends? Top 50 most streamed Disney songs on Spotify. Let's go. Taylor's oldest time. Starting off strong. Song Beauty and the Beast. Oh, interesting. You ain't never had a friend like me. I wonder how high this song would be if it was possible to stream the Robin Williams version because the estate doesn't allow streaming of his songs from Aladdin. Oh, okay. Like the feel of your hand in mine. Really great setting song. Probably the first like sequel musical to make a big splash. So Frozen 2 is interesting in that respect. Do you know who you are? A song that is like a reprise, a mix of old songs from the same movie, breaks the top 50. Tells you something about Moana for sure. It's a good song, but it's just pretty wild. This is a great time to try to guess the number one song. I am on my way. Nice. I love Hercules. I Favorite Disney distance. movie. Who is that girl I see? Good. Good. Now I know I can be happy as a clam because I'm beautiful, baby. Probably my least favorite song from Moana, including the ones in that Polynesian language. It's just, it's not my thing. I like Jermaine's Bowie impression. I think there are songs where it sounds amazing, like Bowie by Flight of the Concords and the one he did for Rick and Morty. But Shiny just doesn't do it for me. It's just not my, not my jam. Possible she wants nice. to. There is one way to ask her. I love Kiss the Girl. I think Kiss the Girl does not get the love it deserves. It's such a good song and it fits so well in the movie. I wonder how these numbers will change once the live action Little Mermaid comes out and once we kind of gear up for that. I imagine they're doing the songs from the Little Mermaid. There's no way they don't. I guess they could not. It'd just be weird. Missed opportunity. To stay in and cuddle, but put me in summer and I'll be a. Of all of the Disney mascots, Olaf is my favorite. So many good one liners. He's so funny. He's so adorable. A lot of personality and depth. Olaf Stan right here. And this song just does such a great job of conveying his want in such a fun, silly way. Oh. Tarzan has popped off. People are talking about it like it's the best Disney soundtrack of all time, and it's really good. I think Brother Bear deserves a little bit more of that love, but the percussion on Tarzan is insane. Nice. Love it. Great Disney Renaissance song. Huh. Okay. Fair. I've heard some people say that they prefer the Panic version to the Adina Menzel version. I love Brennan Yuri, great Vegas native, so you know, gotta show him some love. His mom is really cool, super nice lady. But I think Adina Menzel killed it. The normal argument I hear is that he holds the high note for longer. It's irrelevant to me. I think Adina's version is just superior. Under the surface, I feel the dark as a tightrope walker in a three ring circus. That's wild how high that song is after only being out for four months. Next year, if we came back here, we'd see all the Encanto songs filling in the ranks in this top 50. No chance they wouldn't be. Those songs are taken off and they're just gonna keep taking off. Massive, massive movie. But I know every rock mm. and tree and creature has a life. Has Colors of the Wind is the best nature song. I don't know of another one that doesn't sound corny, although, the wolf is crying to that blue corn moon. <laughs> and that still gets its message across so clearly and relates to so many people. Just a beautiful piece of music. The window is open, so's that door. I didn't know they did that anymore. Who knew we all Favorite song from Frozen, personally. It's so goofy, fun, great one song. <laughs> Crazy to think that that's a taxi driver who they just met and said, come in and sing. And he just sang the first thing that came to mind and it became this massive, iconic moment. Makes me wanna drive taxis. Nice. Moana really showing up strong. 
that song should not have Lin-Manuel Miranda on it. I love the blend of Polynesian language and English in that song. It's such a great piece. I don't know why he's on it. I don't even think he thinks it fits. No one thinks it fits, except for that Disney executive who decided to make it happen. If there's a prize for rotten judgment, I guess I've already- I love Hercules. I won't say I'm in love. Classic, classic song. I love to sing it. It fits such a unique parking space. There's no other song quite like it that just denies love while being so in love. It fits the character too so well. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. It really helps and encourages me to do more Disney videos. 7 a.m. the usual morning lineup. Start on the chores and- I wonder how much of those streams come from people remembering how much they love that song as the beginning of the lockdowns happen because everyone was stuck inside so they could relate to Rapunzel. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it. To think they were going to cut that song and it's now number 30 most streamed with Spotify as a system coming out 20 years after the soundtrack releases. Wild, wild. Thank goodness for Howard Ashman. Rest in peace. Show yourself. Love the piano on this song. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Demi Lovato has done such a good job of kind of distancing herself from that, you know, chill Disney energy. But it's wild to remember that she's so tied to Frozen. Moana, it's time you knew. The village oh, of Moto knew is all you need. Hakuna Matata? It's our motto. What's your motto? Nothing. What's a motto with you? <laughs> it's a great joke. I'm gonna be the main of oh. it, like no king was before. Unexpected. I'm pushing up. While that that's the biggest song from Lion King, I guess it kind of makes sense. It's full of energy. It's full of ambition. It's fun. It's moving. It's a good want song for sure. Just a little surprised. And at last I see the light. Great love song. Great Disney love song. So close in numbers. Randy Newman just shaped our childhoods. The man is, he's a great songwriter. And You've Got a Friend in Me is just piece de resistance. Coco again, showing up. I just does such a great job of capturing that Mexican tradition and taking it to new heights. What more is Makes sense. Oh, okay. I could see Under the Sea passing that Imagine Dragons song in the future. I don't even think of that Imagine Dragons song as being like a Disney song. It's kind of more an Imagine Dragons song that was in a Disney movie. It felt like it was right in line with whatever it takes, Thunder, Believer. Love Elton John. Kind of surprising that his version is higher than the movie version, but hey, I mean, he's a great singer and a great songwriter, so he can have it. I can show you the world, shining, shimmering. That's probably the best Disney love song of all time. What else are you gonna put there? It's just so sincere, it's so heartfelt. Nowadays, Disney love songs are kind of a little tongue in cheek, but that one just went for it and it nailed it. Just such a pretty, beautiful duet. I don't even know this song. I wonder how much of this is Beauty and the Beast and the live action Beauty and the Beast being a hit and how much of it is Ariana Grande just being a massive star and having a song come out and so people just listen. Do you wanna build Seems a, a little snowman? low. Come on, let's get down Whoa. to business. Okay. Wild. That's cool. I'm cool with that. I'm. I love Mulan, and I love "I'll Make a Man Out of You," which is such a manly song. And just have so many good memories of singing it with a massive group of men or well, boys when I was a boy. The Mulan live-action remake should have. They should have had that song in there at some point, right? It just makes sense. I didn't see it, but I know they weren't doing the musical direction. Fools. Love is an open I wouldn't have thought that would be higher than Do You Want to Build a Snowman. It's a good song, good performances, just wouldn't have thought it. Oh, 
Shakira is probably my favorite Latina vocalist, and Sia is one of my favorite songwriters, so I'm more than happy to see them so high on this list. Zootopia was cool too. Kind of forget about it sometimes. We don't talk about no, 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 That's so high. That's so high. Four months, 250 million streams. That's insane. That is gonna take the top position. No doubt. No doubt in my mind. A year from now, it's gonna be in the top. Mark it down. In your little calendars now. Come stop oh. crying. Perfect. Great number 10. Love it. Just take Weird. Maybe it's because I didn't see Through the Looking Glass, but I don't associate that song with Disney at all. It's a great hit by Pink. I mean, she killed it. Good song. I just don't think of it as a Disney song. What does it have to do with Through the Looking Glass? Zane's vocals. Going hard. Makes sense. Bobby and Kristen know how to write for Adina Menzel. They know how to just take her to new heights. I love Big Hero 6. I feel like it doesn't get enough attention. That Fall Out Boy song is rad. Its place in the movie is rad. And there needs to be more merchandise. I want to see more Baymax. I want to see a sequel. It's such a good blend of Disney and Marvel. Come on. Kid, honestly, I could go on and on. I could explain every natural phenomenon. The tide, the grass, the ground. Cars is a great movie, but Life is a Highway? Covered by Rascal Flats? Is that high? I wouldn't have guessed it. I'm okay with it, I guess. I mean, I do guess a lot of people listen to it. People who like country, it just seems high. Top five? I don't know. Oh. Great number three. Such an adventurous want song makes you just want to leave your house and go see the world. Weird. Okay. I would have thought Let It Go would have been number one. It's like one of the most watched YouTube videos of all time, so I would think it would be one of the most streamed Disney songs, right? I'm a little confused by that. What's been bigger than Let It Go? It's such a massive song, right? No okay. It's a great version. She's a great vocalist. I really like the electronic vibe on that song. I just wouldn't have thought it would have been number one. Moana really showed up. I mean, Three songs in the top five, two of them are the same song, just different versions, but still. I mean, you take that into account, that song has over a billion streams. I didn't realize how big Moana was musically. It is like a little more recent, a little more picked up with Spotify, I guess, but still, it's pretty wild. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and check out my music. I've got links to my band Jock Jock, which is a Disney reference. See if you catch it. And I've got a new music video out with Andre Granilia. It's really silly. Maybe you'll enjoy it. Catch on the flip. Mm -hmm.